Okay, there's the side of the mountain. And right there we have a freshwater spring coming right out of the bank. And it's got a pipe going down to this barrel. Which uh, is kind of like a water reservoir and adds pressure to the system. And if we follow the pipe down. There's a check valve in case we need to shut the water flow off. And there's the ram functioning. That's a about a hundred year old ram. Now the water is fed from the left hand pipe. Goes through the pump and comes out this smaller pipe. And that water gets pushed uphill. It's a pretty steep embankment about, oh geez, that's got to be at least uh, two, three hundred feet uphill. That ram's been running for about uh, three, almost four weeks. It doesn't really require much maintenance except coming down here and uh, sometimes you, that light bulb thing will fill up with water because it's it, it's actually should be full of air but it's like uh, putting carbon into pop you know it, uh, eventually it gets the, the air gets pushed right into the water kind of aerates, aerates the water but its main function is after the water hits that check valve it's like shutting your taps off really hard on your pipes at home and creates that jolt and that's kind of what sends the water flow up the smaller pipe and that bulb cushions uh, the back flow of water so you get more of an even flow and it's easier on the pump. Now you can see the, this is the check valve. There's a little piston going up and down in there. I think it's actually from an old 350 Chev motor. And like I said, this thing's been running for oh, at least that I know of 100 years. And uh, with our system here, after it pumps up that hill, it's got to go a uh, good 500 feet more to the house. And I'll make a quick clip on uh, when I'm at the top of the house showing you how much water will come out the actual faucet. 